George Jones died 10 years ago. Now his wife confirms the truth. George Jones was born George Glenn Jones on September 12, 1931, in Saratoga, Texas. This humble beginning in a rural setting would shape the essence of his music and resonate throughout his life. Saratoga's tight-knit community and rustic charm provided the backdrop for Jonas' early experiences, fostering a deep connection to the heartland that would permeate his music. George Jones grew up in the throes of poverty on a farm, where life was marked by hardship and toil. This upbringing instilled in him a sense of resilience and determination from a young age. The struggles of farm life, from dawn till dusk laboring in the fields to the uncertainty of making ends meet, became ingrained in his psyche, shaping his worldview and fueling the authenticity of his music. Despite the challenges of his upbringing, George Jones discovered solace and joy in music from an early age. Whether it was the melodies echoing through the fields or the songs played on a crackling radio, music became his refuge and his passion. In the rhythms and lyrics, he found a means of expression and escape, laying the foundation for his future career as a country music icon. George Jonas' musical journey was profoundly shaped by the sounds of country music legends like Hank Williams and Lefty Frizzle. Their raw, emotive storytelling and distinctive vocal styles left an indelible impression on him, serving as both inspiration and aspiration. Jones studied their craft with reverence, absorbing the nuances of their artistry and incorporating them into his own evolving musical identity. George Jonas signing with Starday Records in 1954 marked a pivotal moment in his burgeoning career. Starday Records, a Texas-based label known for its focus on country and gospel music, provided Jones with a platform to showcase his talent to a wider audience. The partnership with Starday offered him the opportunity to collaborate with seasoned producers and musicians, further honing his craft and shaping his artistic direction. With the release of his debut single, No Money in This Deal, George Jones introduced himself to the world as a compelling voice in country music. The song, penned by Jones himself, showcased his songwriting prowess and distinctive vocal delivery. While the initial reception may have been modest, the release laid the groundwork for Jonas' future success, setting the stage for his ascent in the country music scene. George Jonas' breakout moment came with the release of Why Baby Why in 1955, marking his first major hit on the country music charts. The song's infectious melody and heartfelt lyrics resonated with audiences across the nation, catapulting Jones into the spotlight. Why Baby Why not only showcased Jonas' vocal range and emotive delivery but also solidified his reputation as a rising star in the country music genre. George Jonas signing with Mercury Records in 1957 marked a significant milestone in his career trajectory. Joining forces with a major record label like Mercury provided Jones with increased resources, promotional support, and access to top-notch producers and studio musicians. This partnership opened doors to broader exposure and paved the way for some of Jonas' most iconic recordings. With Mercury Records, George Jones achieved unprecedented commercial success, thanks to chart-topping hits like White Lightning and The Race Is On. These songs not only showcased Jonas' exceptional vocal talent but also solidified his reputation as a powerhouse in country music. White Lightning, in particular, became a signature song for Jones propelling him to superstar status and earning him widespread acclaim from fans and critics alike. Despite his professional accomplishments, George Jones grappled with inner demons that threatened to derail his career and personal life. Throughout the 1960s, Jones waged a public battle with alcoholism and drug addiction, struggles that were exacerbated by the pressures of fame and the demands of the music industry. His addiction issues led to erratic behavior, missed performances, and strained relationships, casting a shadow over his otherwise stellar career. In 1969, George Jones embarked on a tumultuous but highly publicized relationship with fellow country music star Tammy Wynnett. The pair's whirlwind romance culminated in marriage, sparking a media frenzy and capturing the public's imagination. Their union, while marked by intense passion and creative collaboration, was also fraught with turmoil, fueled by their respective personal struggles and the pressures of fame. George Jones and Tammy Wynette's partnership yielded some of the most beloved and enduring duets in country music history. 
Songs like Golden Ring and Near You showcased the pair's undeniable chemistry and shared musical sensibilities, earning them widespread acclaim and commercial success. Their emotive performances and heartfelt lyrics captivated audiences around the world, solidifying their status as a legendary duo in the annals of country music. Throughout the 1980s and into the early 1990s, George Jones grappled with ongoing battles with addiction and tumultuous relationships, which had plagued him for much of his life. Despite achieving commercial success and critical acclaim, Jones struggled with the demons of alcoholism and substance abuse, which often manifested in erratic behavior and strained personal relationships. His struggles with addiction remained a central theme in his life and music, reflecting the complexities of fame and the toll it can take on one's well-being. Despite his struggles, George Jones continued to produce some of the most compelling and emotionally resonant music of his career during the 1980s. Albums like I Am What I Am and Wine Colored Roses garnered widespread critical acclaim for their honesty, authenticity, and raw emotional power. These albums showcased Jonas' unparalleled ability to connect with listeners on a deeply personal level, offering a glimpse into his innermost thoughts and struggles through poignant lyrics and soul-stirring melodies. George Jones married his last wife, Nancy Sepulvado, after his marriage to Tammy Wynette ended. George Jones and Tammy Wynette's marriage began with the excitement of a perfect country duet but soon hit the turbulent notes of discord. Theirs was a union that lasted about six intense years, marked by a blend of passion and strife that left an indelible mark on the landscape of country music. At the outset, their relationship appeared to be a fairy tale come true. Imagine two country music legends, each at the pinnacle of their careers, coming together not only in life but in song. Their harmonies seemed to echo the very essence of romance, their love ballads enchanting fans who saw them as the epitome of a perfect musical and marital partnership. Yet, behind the scenes, the harmony quickly gave way to dissonance. What caused such a promising marriage to unravel so dramatically? The answer lies in a potent mix of professional jealousy, conflicting personal goals, and George's notorious battles with substance abuse. These issues wove a tapestry of tension and instability that the couple could not overcome. George's addiction issues were a significant factor, often leading to erratic behavior and strained interactions. Meanwhile, Tammy's unwavering dedication to her career and her desire for stability clashed with George's unpredictable lifestyle. Despite their strong start, the undercurrents of their issues soon surfaced, creating cracks in their relationship that only grew wider with time. Their marriage became a roller coaster of emotions, with moments of intense love overshadowed by bouts of conflict and misunderstanding. It was a classic case of two people deeply in love but ultimately incompatible, their struggles eclipsing their initial chemistry. When their marriage finally disintegrated, it was a spectacle worthy of their dramatic love story. The divorce was not just a personal split but a public one that sent ripples through the country music world. The couple who had once serenaded each other and their fans with songs of love and devotion were now parting ways, their once shared dreams scattered like leaves in the wind. The end of their marriage symbolized the end of an era, a poignant moment for their legions of fans who had invested emotionally in their union. After the divorce, Tammy Wynette forged ahead, as resilient as ever. She continued to shine in her career, releasing music that resonated with the heartache and strength she knew so well. She remarried several times, each marriage bringing its challenges and stories, yet she remained an enduring icon in the country music world until she died in 1998. Her legacy, much like her music, was filled with the highs and lows of a life lived fully and passionately. George and Tammy's marriage had all the elements of a classic country song, love, heartbreak, drama, and resilience. Their relationship, marked by its intensity and volatility, was a poignant reminder that sometimes, even the most beautiful harmonies can falter. Their story, rich with emotion and complexity, continues to captivate and resonate, a testament to the timeless appeal of country music's most unforgettable duo. George Jones' widow remembers his last words. Sunday morning he woke up and he was throwing up and had chills so bad that I called the A-Mets have to his minute and he went to Vanderbilt and the night of um the night had been in the hospital like four or five days.
I hadn't spoke a word never opened his eyes and uh the doctor came by and he said he'll be back around one or two cuz he said hell probably pass by then and I am like oh but please come back don't leave me here and he said oh you got family here and I said no I want you here. He said okay he'll be he'll be back I promise and go take a shower and come back when he came back with we were standing at the foot of the bed and George just hadn't said nothing I mean and all of a sudden he opened his eyes and I was fixing to go toward him and the doctor kind of held me back and he and George said well. Hello there he said I've been looking for you he said my name's George Jones and he was gone he closed his eyes and that was the end of it so in my heart I know he was talking to God.